Now there's one final note I want to bring up about source transformation. Uh, there's a very subtle thing that people don't sometimes real about, realize about source transformation which can be very useful when you're simplifying a problem. Let's say we've got a voltage source in series with a resistor. Call that VS. This is RS. Well, source transformation tells me, of course, that I can transform this into a current source in series with RS. Pardon me, I should say in parallel with RS. So source transformation lets me do this. But I want to point something out. These two elements are in parallel. We note that this circuit and this circuit are exactly the same. There is absolutely no difference between me flipping the order of those two elements. None whatsoever. They're in parallel and I'm simply just topologically moving one to the other side of the other. I also note that if I write a KCL equation for these nodes, it doesn't cha change according to the order of these. The KCL equation remains the same. So that can be useful. But there's something else that's also true for this circuit. This is equivalent to this. I can flip the order of the resistor and the voltage source for this circuit too. Once again, think about it. If I write a KVL equation around this loop, it doesn't matter what order it is, I'm going to get the same equation. So I can actually flip this and go to this. And it turns out when you're going through and you're simplifying these types of circuits, sometimes swapping the order of the resistor and putting it on the other side of the voltage source can be a very handy trick to use. All right? Something else to point out. And I will always have questions about this. I will have students who will say, Professor Holman, there's something that confuses me about source transformation. You're not following the pass assign convention. And I'll say, what do you mean? And they'll say, well, Professor Holman, you've got this voltage source. Why doesn't the current source do that? And what I always tell them, First of all, sources are not resistors. Pass the sign convention applies to Ohm's law. In this case, IS must flow out because think about it. If I were to connect a resistor here, the positive current would flow in this direction around the loop. In that case, the source also, also has to force current in this direction, which means the source has to have a current that goes out relative to the positive end. So watch out for that because a common mistake students will do is when they do source transformation, they'll flip that upside down and they wind up getting a wrong answer. It's not, this is not a matter of pass assign convention. We're not trying to calculate power. So in this case, the direction of positive current means that the positive end is where the IS must be. So just watch out for that. Very common mistake. Okay? Next time we'll look at Thevenin's theorem.